Hey guys, it's Retro Head here, and welcome back to another video. Today I've got a really exciting video for you as I went to three brand new CEX stores and I can't wait to show you what I found. Before we start the video, I'd like to give a quick mention to this Bowser t-shirt I recently bought out of a charity shop. As you know, I'm a massive Mario fan and I always think with the t-shirts, you always get Mario and Luigi and sometimes like Toad on t-shirts, but you never get just Bowser on t-shirts, so to find this in a charity shop was awesome. So yes, like I say, I went to three brand new CEXs, so I can't wait to show you what I found. So without further ado, let's go. So here we have the first store, and that is the Rochdale CEX. Now I only did a little bit of filming just in the glass cabinets here, because I only actually bought a couple of bits from this store. But one of the things I bought, I'm not showing in this video, it'll be a different video, I actually managed to buy my retro gaming grail. My one thing I've wanted for probably like 10 years, and I finally managed to buy it out of this store. So that'll be in a different video, but I still managed to grab a couple of bits out of this CEX. You'll have to wait till we get back to the games room to see what those are. A great retro selection in this glass cabinet. Loads of really nice GameCube games. Some really good complete PS1 games, which is really good to see. They all looked in really good condition. You don't see good condition PS1 games very often. So that was really nice to see. Rochdale, a very good CEX if you haven't been already. Next CEX we went to was Denton. Now this one was actually on a shopping um, kind of like retail park, which was quite nice to be able to park right next to a CEX. As you know, CEX is often right in the centre of town, so it was a bit of novelty to park right outside, so it's really handy. And I managed to find some pretty cool bits to add to the collection from here. Now, a bit of a strange thing happened when I was in this CEX. So I had a Vicar of Dibley box set that I bought from a charity shop a few weeks back for a quid that trades in for like £4 or something, just to put towards the games that I was buying. And I put it on the counter, and this CEX no longer take DVDs. Which was just crazy, apparently they haven't got the space. So I don't know if that's sort of like a, a thing that CEX are going to start doing in the future, but I've never had that before. The Dent and CEX do not take DVDs apparently. Which I kind of hope they don't stop doing, because that could be a bit of an issue, because I do like trying to find DVDs sort of like the car boot um, to trade in CEX. <laughs> So that would be a real, real shame if they stopped taking DVDs. I did have a look at this Incredible Hulk on the GameCube, but this was in a bit rough condition for me, so I did decide to pass on this one. But yeah, CEX not taking DVDs. Let me know, have you ever had that before? So that was the Denton CEX, and now off to our final store, which is Ashton Underline. Here we are then in Ashton Underline CEX. Now I thought this was a really, really good CEX. I really enjoyed looking around. And I'm looking forward to showing you what stuff I managed to find inside. got some amazing pickups today so now let's go back to the games room to look at them all so the first store i visited was the rochdale cex now as you know we've been on holiday recently and i've been to some amazing gaming stores kenny's being one of them already done a video about that and um, but there's going to be videos on other awesome gaming stores to come 
So we went to Rochdale, but it was a bit of a detour from our holiday, but they had my absolute retro gaming grail. Now, I'm not going to show you what it is in this video. It's going to be in another video, but stay tuned to my channel. I've been collecting retro for over 10 years, and I've finally got this item. I'm, it's behind the camera. I'm looking at it, and I, it's just amazing. It's literally been my grail for about a decade, so I can't wait to show you that in another video. But I also bought two other things from Rochdale CEX. The first thing being a PS2 game, and that is Echo the Dolphin, Defender of the Future. I've played Echo the Dolphin on the uh, Dreamcast, not Dreamcast, on the Mega Drive, and I absolutely love it. It's such a nice, chilled out, sort of like, as it says on the back here, tranquil game. But um, I didn't really, so I knew this was a PS2 release, but I never really see it out in the wild. So to find this complete in the box for four quid, I just had to pick this one up. The graphics on the back for the PS2 look awesome, so I'm really excited to see how this game has aged throughout the years. And the next pickup is a bit of a strange one, and that is this box Wii controller. Now, I always get confused about the names of these Wii controllers. This is a classic controller pro. Now, this was marked at eight pounds, which I think for a Wii accessory in the box is a great price anyway. Now, a Classic Controller Pro on CEX isn't £8, it's £20. The reason this was priced at £8 is this was priced up as just the price of the Wii Classic Controller. That is like the oval controller. I'll put a picture in with like the thumbsticks, a little bit like a SNES controller. Um, but this one was priced as that, and this should have been £20 because this is a Classic Controller Pro. That price for £20 would have also been without the box. So I managed to pay £8 instead of £20 for this controller and get it in the box. So this was an absolute bargain. Moving on inside the box, the thing that pains me about this is I think this was sealed when it went into CEX because if you look at the controller here, it's still got this bit of cellophane around the edge and it literally, there's like no fingerprints or nothing on it. So I think this was sealed when it went into CEX. I've actually traded in some um, sealed switch games in CEX before, just ones I had in the collection didn't want. Um, and they actually opened them in front of me, which I know they have to sort of, you could just reseal them with no game in it, but it did kind of pain me. So I do think this was a re uh, this was taken in, opened by CEX. Also, it has got all of its original paperwork inside here and the fact that the sealed stickers have just been stuck on the sides. Like they just quickly took them off and put them on the sides. But this was still a bargain at eight pounds, and I'm so pleased to have it in the collection. This was an absolute bargain. Now I'm going to keep this in the box. I'm not going to use it just because it looks so brand new. I was going to pick it up with the intention of using it for games like Mario Kart, but when I saw it was in that good a condition, this is staying firmly inside the box. So the next store was in Ashton Underline. Now when I was in there, I thought this was a bit of a bargain. I paid five pounds for this item, but it's recently gone down to four pounds on CEX. So I think this is the time to buy this item, and that is Mario Sonic London 2012 Olympic Games. Now, with me being an absolute massive Mario fan, you'd think I've already got this game in the collection. Which, you'd be right, I do already have it, but only in a DVD case, and I really wanted it in the cardboard sleeve. So, I am one of those collectors that will go out of their way to pick up a sleeve instead of a DVD case, you know, to have both in the collection. Let me know if this is something you would do as a collector. The reason I did this is I'm trying to pick up all of the Wii sleeve variants I can find. So, I really wanted to pick up this Mario one when I saw it, as it's really hard to find these in good condition. And as you can see, this looks absolutely brand new and the disc is pristine. So I was really pleased to pay a fiver for this copy. Now, let me know when you're out hunting for games. I do collect these Wii sleeves. I want to try and get as many as I can. I'm currently looking for the Lynx crossbow training cardboard sleeve, which I think is £1.50 in CEX. And I've been looking for it for months and I just cannot find the cardboard sleeve. And I don't really know why I'm so desperate to have it in the collection, but I just love to have it in the collection, and I cannot find it. The next game I have to show you is a NES game. Now, as you know from watching the channel, I do not collect for NES. I have a box NES up here that I'm pleased to say I've got in the collection. I have one box NES game, which is Ferrari Grand Prix Challenge and the Odd Loose game, but I do not collect for NES. Now, I do have a box NES game in my hand, but I still don't collect for NES. It's just this was only £20, and when I saw it in this good a condition, I couldn't leave it. Now, it is quite a common one, and that is Top Gun, the second mission. I just had to buy this when I saw it, because this is a NES game, and obviously they're pretty old now. And look at the condition. I just don't understand. It's painful that there's a bit of uh, pen over the barcode, which is, like, hurts me. But um, it literally looks brand new, and it is a Konami game, so I really want to try and grab Konami games now. And I'm just so pleased with the condition of this. It looks amazing. And inside, it's in just as good a condition. I'm just going to have to be very careful. All the flaps are intact. It's literally incredible. So inside we have the manual. This was boxed with manual price here. Little bit of water damage on it, but that's absolutely fine. I don't mind the fact that it's water damaged. And the cartridge, which literally, I cannot believe how brand new this looks. It's, it's just incredible. It literally looks like it's just been made. I'm, I'm so pleased with this. Let me know if you collect for NES in the comments down below. I recently did a poll on my channel whether you prefer the NES or the SNES, and I'll put a screenshot of what happened here, but 
a lot of you prefer the SNES, including me. I collect quite a lot for the SNES, as you can see up here, and I don't collect for the NES, but when I saw this game in this good condition, I couldn't leave it on the shelf. The final CEX store was Denton on a shopping park. Now, I recently did a video about game 50% off sale. They also had a game at the shopping park, so um, I did that video there. If you haven't seen that video, definitely go and watch it. I got a massive, huge stack of PS4 games, and as you know, they just did a 50% off sale, so I was so pleased with what I managed to find. But I did really, really well in the Denton store. Now, the first game was just £2, but this is one that I've been looking for for quite a while, and that is Codename Steam on the 3DS. Now, I haven't got around to playing this one yet, but it looks really nice. Um, on the back, it says something about Fire Emblem. Uh, you can use Fire Emblem Amiibos and stuff with it, and Fire Emblem is a very, very expensive video game series. So to pick this up for two quid, I thought was awesome, and I love the art style on the front. Looks absolutely awesome. You may recognise the next game. Um, on my community page, I just put a picture of it on to check if it was authentic or not. Because this is one of those DS games that has a slightly metallic case. And I just wanted to make sure it was authentic. I know some of the Pokemon games um, have that shininess to it. But I didn't actually know this one did. And that is Metroid Prime Hunters on the DS. I am so pleased to finally have this one in the collection. The reason why I hadn't got this one yet is that I've always seen it in this shiny case. And I didn't know it came in this like metallic-y kind of case. So I always thought when I saw this it was like a repro copy. So I was really pleased to grab this one when I did. Uh, thank you to Dan the Games Man and Pixel Paul who told me that it was authentic and everything. Inside it is complete in the box and I have played this and it is really good. Like a proper good game. And I paid £12 for this and I'd really, really recommend this game. Not quite as good as Metroid Prime on the GameCube, but I'm still really looking forward to trying to complete this game. I haven't completed it yet, but it is so fun. And I also managed to grab another DS game and this one I have wanted for so long. I'm so pleased to finally grab this. I have seen this in CEX before, but it's been a little bit water damaged and this is complete in lovely condition. And that is Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. A bit like one of those spin-off Mario games they did in sort of DS, 3DS kind of era. And I cannot wait to try this one out. It looks awesome. And it is in really nice condition, complete in box. Let me know if you've played this one already. It, from the back, it looks amazing. It looks like a really, really good adventure kind of story. It says, Mario and Luigi's Adventure Inside Bowser. Mario and Luigi find themselves inside Bowser following a series of bizarre events. They'll have to work together with their nemesis to save the Mushroom Kingdom in the craziest adventure of the series yet. So this sounds like a really, really different Mario game and one that I can't wait to play. And the final pickup is a game that I do already have in the collection, but this is in a big box. And that is Animal Crossing Let's Go to the City. Now this is in the big box with the Wii Speak. Now this game on CEX um, just on its own is £12, but with the Wii Speak it's also £12, because if you didn't know, uh, you could play this game online years ago, obviously it's the Wii so you can't play it online now, and the Wii Speak was uh, allowed you to chat to other people online, but this accessory is essentially like dead media now, you can't use it, so it's basically useless, but I saw this one in the box, which is really good to see, so I did just pay £12, which is the price of the game. I probably will be trading this copy of the game in CEX because I do already have the game. Um, but inside, here we have the Wii Speak. Now this is just essentially useless, you can't use it anymore. But as a collector, I really want to have it in the collection. Uh, here is the game, this will be trading in CEX. I think I get like a £7 voucher for this. So the whole thing will essentially cost me a fiver just for the box really. So you can't really complain for that price. And it also did come with lots of paperwork as well. Let me know if you'd essentially pay £5 for the box and the Wii Speak. I know this isn't for some collectors. But I absolutely love Animal Crossing. And I really wanted to have this big box in the collection. Thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please like and please subscribe to the channel. And let me know, what was your favourite pickup of the day? Thanks for watching and I'll see you all later. Bye!